Everybody, it's Tanner from TannerBellDesigns.com and today I'm going to bring you your TNT video over at AboveRBStudio.com. So what we're so excited about is the new Tanner Bell Designs Enjoy the Moment stamp set which is from July so it's not technically new but it just came back in stock for everybody to go order. It should be um, available probably in the middle of the next week which is awesome on the Above Ruby Studio store which is amazing. Um, Everybody loved the stamp set that we sold out, which was awesome. And these have great sentiments on it. And once you hear Megan say, and great ones for scrapbooking, card making, Bible verses are on here. Um, there's one sent a sentiment said, made by me, which you could put on the back of a card and maybe put your name, sign it or something. Really cool. It's a 4 by 6 set. Um, I think it's, for, it's priced at $13.99, which is great. And... It's awesome. So today's technique is showing how to heat and boss and we're going to use a dryer sheet showing you how to remove the little um, pigments of the embossing powder off the paper that's not supposed to be there when stamping. So we're going to use the Snuggle Puppy Sentiment which is great to be on a dog or just anything your mind can think of. So you just want to stamp that with um, an embossing ink. I really like this Tim Holtz embossing ink probably my favorite one. So you just ink that up, but before you ink it up, I want you to take out your dryer sheet or a dryer sheet and open it up. I think I have two or three here. And you just need to wipe it all over where the area you're going to stamp and then put it up so you don't get anything on it. I just store mine in a Ziploc bag and they smell really good too, so that's a plus. Then you want to ink up your stamp and stamp it. After you've stamped it, you'll want to have a scratch sheet of um, copy paper ready and have it right here under it. Take your white embossing powder and sprinkle it over, just like that. Cover, leave this open. Take your paper off, tap it, and you'll see that you have your snuggle puppy right there, and set that to the side. You want to take your copy paper, put it like this, and put it back in your white embossing powder jar. And you don't want to spill it, so make sure you put your lid on there. Okay, so then you want to take a heat embossing tool, and this one you can pick up at, um, Hobby Lobby. It's pink. If you like pink, it's from the Paper Studio. Um, I think you get it for like 11 bucks with a coupon. Not really for sure. And I'm just going to uh, heat emboss it. So I'm going to fast forward this part because it's loud. Okay, so here's our heat embossed um, snuggle puppy. As you can feel, the heat embossed gives it a great look and texture after you've heat embossed it with your heat tool. This is a great thing to put on cards, uh, scrapbook pages, um, DIY projects. Really great. Um, I'm actually going to make a card with this right here. So stay tuned for the end to see a picture of it. And make sure to check out the Tanner Bell Designs inspired by Megan Elizabeth stamp set coming out very soon. Well, it's out right now, but to order it, it's coming out really soon, and you're going to love this set if you haven't already picked it up. If you've already picked it up and you've made some cards with it, you know what I want you to do. So I want you to hop on over to the Bubber Bee Studio fa Facebook fan page, which I'll link it on the website, and I want you to post your pictures using the stamp set. Any card, any scrapbook page, DIY project, anything you've made using this stamp set, make a post and post the picture on the fan page because I'll be looking and I'm sure Megan will be looking always. So it's a really great stamp set. It's going to be awesome. It's really easy to stamp with. High quality um, stamps. And I hope you enjoyed today's TNT video. I hope if you didn't already know about the, um, the dryer sheet technique that you know about it now and just keep it in a nice uh, Ziploc bag and you can use it on for um, future uh, heat embossing on projects. It's really great and you can use a Versamark pad but for some reason I really like this Tim Holtz Distress embossing pad. It's really just a great pad. So you can always uh, use Versamark as well. It's really just, you know, whatever you want to use. So I hope you enjoyed today's TNT video. Make sure you check out um, AboveRubyStudio.com if you're on YouTube and hope you all have a great day. Bye for now.